Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. You might have heard about Stable Diffusion, which is a free open source platform where you can generate AI images. But the problem is you need a lot of powerful computing power to run that. But I have come across a solution called Collab, which where we can run this easily. We don't have to do much. So uh, thanks to this last Ben, uh, he has created a Collab solution where you can install everything in one go and you can start using it. So I will provide the link in the description of the video. You can use it as well. You can go to Google and search for fast stable diffusion last Ben and you'll get this. Okay. Once you have this link, what you have to do is just open it. Log in using your uh, Google account. Once you have logged in, you need around uh, 10 to 12 GB of space. That is more than enough. So what we have to do is you can see here, uh, you can go and connect to local runtime. Before running this, you can go to runtime and see a change run type you have to select this as a gpu okay so select this as gpu and save it once this is done you can click on this run time and run all once you do run all it will ask you to authorize your google uh, drive so click on run anyway so first step is that you know it is trying to uh, connect to your google drive so you should have this around 10 to 12 gb as i said earlier so that it can keep all the files over there. It will take around five minutes to start. Once everything is done, you will be able to use the uh, UI. So you can click on this connect to Google Drive and you can allow. Once you allow, it will connect to your Google Drive and start installing every file. So let's wait. Once the installation is done, you will see there is a public URL here. Click on this. Once you click on this, it will open in new window. And here you will see this UI for your automatic 11.11 and here you will have this your uh, all the model which you have uploaded so by default you will get this model ckpt i have downloaded extra models and i have kept it so let's see where the files will be loaded in your google drive so you will have this uh, in your google drive you'll have this sd folder inside this sd folder you'll have this diffusion web ui and stable diffusion in web ui folder you will have this model section inside this model you can go to stable diffusion and keep all the model. So you'll see here I have some other model which I have kept it. That's the reason that the space here taken is 15.33. Otherwise, you will be able to deploy everything within 10 GB. So I'll talk more about in future videos how we can, you know, download these kind of models and put it there. So let's, let's go ahead and start generating some images. So we'll go to text to image section. And there are some prompts which I have written. So let's take this. So this is my positive prompt. This is negative prompt. And for sampling method, I will use DPM. And sampling step, I will keep it as 30. And let's keep it as 512 by 768. And click on generate. And for batch count, I'll keep this as 4. So let's see the images which we have got. So we can see here it is really good and uh, and high quality images here let's go to second image yes third and fourth the reason i'm using this deliberate model is because it is very good you know in creating portrait so we'll go ahead and try some other uh, prompt as well so this time i'm going to use a prompt for a girl who is laughing and standing on a street so let's go ahead and generate that it will take few seconds so let's wait and come back so here you can see we have a very detailed portrait here and here we have a bouquet effect with rain and here as well. So that's how you can easily run, you know, stable diffusion uh, on Collab. If you found this tutorial helpful and informative, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.